What's up, YouTube? Jeff, your style OG. And on today's video, I've got my guide on how to wear the Hawaiian shirt. If you're new to the channel, we release a new video every day at 4 p.m. Eastern discussing various men's lifestyle topics such as style, grooming, and dating. I invite you to subscribe, tap that notification bell, and join us. And to my returning friends, like Mr. Mike Real, salute. Now the Hawaiian slash floral shirt is really having a moment right now. What used to be thought of as a corny, stuffy style that only old dudes wore, not that there's anything wrong with being old, mind you, is now a style you see it turning up on all the runways, all the trendiest guys, young guys, older guys, and made by many different brands. But it is a bold pattern. How do you incorporate it in your style without looking like you're wearing too many colors or you don't know what you're doing? Here's where today's video comes in. I've got my guy, some tips and eight ways that you can wear a Hawaiian slash floral shirt and do it with style. So without any further delay, let's get into this lookbook on how to wear the Hawaiian slash floral shirt. Now the first tip you wanna follow when wearing a Hawaiian shirt is a rule you wanna follow when it comes to style in general. When you're wearing something with a bold out there pattern, let that be the only bold piece you wear. Keep the rest of your look pretty subtle and minimal. Let the bold print do the talking. And you're gonna see me using that tip throughout the lookbook, starting with our first look. Now for my guys that wanna ease into the look, this is the easiest way to do it. Get one with the main color you're very comfortable with. We all like wearing black. That's why the first Hawaiian shirt I'm wearing has the base color of black. And one of the easiest ways to wear the Hawaiian shirt, paired with that summer classic, a pair of white jeans. This is a no brainer. And you see I've done here with this black Hawaiian shirt I picked up from Express and my slim fit white jeans I got from J. Crew. White jeans and Hawaiian shirts always work well together as you see I've done here. And another key you wanna pay attention to is when you're trying to match up your colors, use a color that's in the shirt and pair with the other items. Like I've done here. I've got the black in the shirt paired up with my black loafers. This is a tip I'm gonna use over and over throughout this video. If you want an easy, no-brainer way to rock the Hawaiian shirt, throw it on with that summer classic, a pair of white jeans. Now that first look was a great summertime, daytime look. But what if you wanna take that same black shirt and bring it into the nighttime? That's when I suggest you throw it on with a black pair of jeans and a pair of black Chelsea boots. Yes, I do wear Chelsea boots in the summer, but notice I said at night. Once again, I'm using the same technique I used from the last outfit, pulling the color that the base color from the Hawaiian shirt, the black, and matching it with the black jeans and the black Chelsea boots. This is a great way to have that bold pattern on top and make the bottom half of your body almost a monochromatic look. This is a sleek, smooth, stylish look that you can rock throughout the summer. When the temperature starts to go down at night and the sun goes down as well, you definitely can pull off this Hawaiian look, especially with the all black look down below. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking me to leave links in the description to a lot of the items I wear throughout the lookbooks. So whatever I have that's more recent, that's still available, I'm gonna leave links in the description so you can pick them up for yourself. Speaking of wearing those Chelsea boots through the summer, I've got another look that utilizes the same look. This time, I've got my pair of suede Chelsea boots with a pink Hawaiian shirt. Now, once again, pay attention to the rules that we're following with this one, matching a color in the shirt to the rest of the outfit. Here you see I have a lighter blue color in the Hawaiian shirt, matching it up with a pair of light wash jeans. And no matter what season of the year, I always love pairing light wash jeans with the pair of suede Chelsea boots. I picked up this Hawaiian shirt from one of my favorite low cost stores, that Target Goodfellow and Company line, the jeans straight out of Everlane and the suede Chelsea boots from Adrice. This is a look that enables me to have my Chelsea boots on during the summer, but lighten the look up as compared to the black example we had in the last look. And it's also a way to add a little bit of color, but not super bright. This pink, not overly out there pink, a little muted. This is another look I definitely would rock throughout the summer, especially in the evening, throwing on the suede Chelsea boots, light wide jeans, and a pink. Hawaiian shirt. Now for our next look, we're sticking with the pink Hawaiian shirt, 
but we're gonna give you an outfit you can rock when it's super hot. Switching out the jeans and throwing on a pair of shorts. Once again, I'm gonna repeat this throughout the video. The easy way to pair your Hawaiian shirt, pick a color in it, match it to your bottom. In this case, we're matching the blue in this pink Hawaiian shirt with the blue in the shorts. These shorts I picked up from Everlane. And of course, you can never go wrong when doing throughout the summer, matching up a bold look with a minimal pair of sneakers. Here I have my minimal all white sneakers, the New Republic Kurtz in white. This is a smooth, cool, easy look I would wear to a daytime outing during the summer. Whether you're talking about a picnic, a pool party, any place where you wanna have a little bit of boldness, but you wanna be cool. Throw on those shorts, pair of all white sneakers, paired with the Hawaiian shirt. Now for our next look, I wanted to show you how you can rock the Hawaiian shirt to dress down and have a little fun with your summer suit. As this time, I rocked this yellow one I picked up from H&M with my blue cotton chino suit from J. Crew. I'm always trying to emphasize to you guys that suits are a lot more versatile than you may think. You can actually dress them down and have fun. And this one, once again, pulling from the little bit of blue that's in this Hawaiian shirt, matching it with the blue in the suit. For me, I like to play around with a little bit of what you would normally wear with the suit. You might want to wear some brown shoes. In this case, I wore some nice caramel color sneakers from Koyo. Gives you a little bit of that dress shoe look but in a sneak. This is an excellent way to have fun with this suit. Dress up the Hawaiian shirt, but dress down the suit. A cotton suit is a must have in your wardrobe, especially for you guys in warmer climates. There's so much you can do with it. Wanna have a little bit of fun with your summer suit? Throw it on with the Hawaiian shirt. Now for our next look, I wanted to give you an outfit that represents to me, fun, but dressy. As we take the same Hawaiian shirt and pair it with a pair of chambray dress pants. Now this to me is a cool, elegant way to pull off the Hawaiian shirt. This is one I would wear when I wanna be dressy, but fun. It's too hot to get dressed up, but you still wanna look put together. And once again, we're using that same technique we're using throughout the video. Pull a little bit from the blue in the shirt, match it up with the blue of the chambray dress pants. Finish the look off. Of course, you never go wrong when having a nice, casual, but dressy look Throw on a classic pair of loafers. In this case, a pair of Gucci loafers, some tassel loafers. You will never be accused of being corny or out of step rocking your Hawaiian shirt this way with a nice pair of sleek dress pants. So when you want a cool, smooth, elegant, but still fun way to rock that Hawaiian shirt, pair it up with a nice pair of trousers. Now for our next look, I wanted to show you that you're not stuck only wearing the button-up version of a Hawaiian shirt if you want that floral look. They come in other styles. For example, you can rock a floral type of t-shirt. Now in this case, I'm pushing the boundaries a little bit of what a Hawaiian floral shirt is. This one has some waves, but hey, that makes me think of Hawaii as well, the ocean. And another no-brainer way of wearing a floral Hawaiian type shirt, pair it with khaki. Because the khaki is such a neutral color, that bold colored shirt always works well. Actually, if you're going to choose a pair of pants that's a no-brainer to rock with a Hawaiian shirt, always select a pair of khaki chinos. To me, this is another way to look put together but relax at the same time. Love the interplay of my dressier khaki chinos here from my J. Crew chino suit and finish it off with that minimal sneaker that's going to work throughout the year, the all-white New Republic Kurtz from earlier in the video. So if you're someone who wants to play a little bit with the floral looks slash Hawaiian, but don't necessarily want to do the traditional button up, grab you one of these bold prints in a t-shirt. And last but certainly not least on our lookbook on how to rock the Hawaiian shirt, for our eighth and final look, I've got another style of Hawaiian slash floral shirt. This time, a polo shirt. Now like we mentioned about the t-shirt, there's a different kind of style you can wear when it comes to the floral shirts that don't have to be the traditional button up style. Here I've got a nice simple one I picked up from Target Goodfellow and Company, and matching it with your also oh versatile pair of jeans, your dark denim. These are my old trusty dark denim that I rock all the time from Uniqlo. And of course, once again, talking versatility, talking minimal, throw on your all white pair of minimal sneakers. To me, this is a look I definitely will rock throughout the weekend. I might even grab this one going to the movies or on a summer date. A polo shirt, always a step up from a t-shirt. 
So if you're someone who wants to step into the Hawaiian slash floral shirts, but maybe want to do it in a subtle way, a shirt like this in a polo style and not too out there colors and prints will work well when you're trying to rock the Hawaiian slash floral shirt look. Okay, so there you have it. My guide and lookbook on how you can rock that Hawaiian slash floral shirt. Make sure you let me know in the comment section what your favorite look is and how you like to rock the Hawaiian shirt. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, hit that like button. It helps the channel to grow. And of course, tap that notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos we release every day at 4 p.m. Eastern, and I'll check you out.